what I'm going to outline is some stuff we came up with today in class um, according to the production and pre-production of filming from my film Derange and the times it would usually take for us to complete them tasks so I know um, exactly where I am and what I need to do in order to complete my film um, and do it to a high standard that the exam board wants me to get. Um, so what I came up with for the pre-production, although they decided in class that maybe it would be better to do the Gantt chart, I thought I'd like to discuss it through a video and then that way I could kind of explain where I'm at and the reasons why I probably am a bit more behind than um, I should be. Um, so for starters, talking about pre-production, some of the things which I've done and I've obviously thought about is a script, storyboard, um, I've obviously done um, some different posts on different things like thinking about my target audience, um, some other things to think about included uh, risk assessment, uh, health and safety, call sheets, um, which can also be used in the production of filming. Um, a filming equipment list, a production schedule, um, catering to think about then, lighting, actors list, shot log, makeup, typography, um, costume, props, location shots, uh, script read through and um, location permission. Um, some other things I need to think about in terms of the production include the logistics, and transport of my actors, which will coincide with um, what I'm writing on my call sheet, including you know sort of the weather and um, where I need to take them to different places. Um, fortunately, because people, um, this is like a small budget film, and because it's only a student film, um, I'm not going to go to that high level of professionalism that I need to actually, you know, kind of go out to say that I'm going to go to like train stations and collect them because they are very local anyway. A shot log after um, and during the time that I'm actually filming, rushes and sound um, is another thing. 